Hi guys! Guess what I did. <laughs> so I keep my daily sketching stuff normally in this planner cover. Uh, this is usually what lives by my end of the sofa out in the other room. There's some water inside there. Um, and I kept whatever I was going to sketch or paint in the evenings on in here, um, whether I'm sketching in a journal or I'm doing a little watercolor painting or may maybe adding a little watercolor to a sketch, um, all that stuff was in here. Um, okay, sorry, there's water in there. And um, I had some pens and pencils on this pouch on the outside that fit, fit like this. This works really well, but the one thing I didn't like about it is, you know, there's potential for stuff to fall out. And it also, although the size was great, if I wanted to um, say like my husband and I did this last weekend, just grab something really quick, stick my phone and my wallet in there and go and um, do some urban sketching or on plain air, wherever we're at, um, this really wasn't going to work for that because there literally when it was full there's no room for anything else plus like I said there's you know the potential for stuff to fall out so that wasn't going to work I remembered I had this old Fl Franklin Covey planner yeah this is a planner I know it looks like a little briefcase it's pretty old I got it second hand I didn't pay very much for it it's been sitting in my closet of stuff to make journals with <laughs> for like ever so I decided to break it out and see what I could do with it because it's just collecting dust in the closet. What I like about this, now that I've finished it, is that there's this pocket on the outside that I could definitely put my phone and wallet and car keys in. Um, I have a small sort of travel wallet that I put together when I'm doing something like this. And they, they would all fit in the outside pocket very easily. It does have a pair of handles so I could carry it like a handbag. The handles also retract. Yeah. I did transfer my little Asian cat jingle bell thing onto the zipper pull. He makes a lot of noise but he's cute. And then the next thing I did was I needed to get the binder rings out which were here. So I really had to dig in there with a craft knife to get the binder rings out. <laughs> so I did, but then it left a big hole. And so I thought, okay, how am I going to patch that? And I'm like, wait a minute, hold the phone. My friend Janet Green's got this um, billboard vinyl. She sent me some scrap pieces. I asked her, can I buy some scrap pieces for you? She said, sure. So she sent me some. I'm going to link her Etsy shop in the description below. So I took a scrap piece and I put it here. I was kind of messy with the glue, but I'm going to take this out so I can show you guys what I did. So the binder rings were right here. So I took them out and I glued this piece of vinyl here to basically to cover the hole. Um, it's not super pretty how I did it, but I am okay with that. Um, there is a little bit of glue like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm finding little bits of glue where I got super messy. Most of them are under the board that I just took out, so that doesn't matter. Okay, this this side has this pocket here, which I could or could not use. Um, I don't plan on using it, but if I wanted to stick notes in there or put money in there or something, I could do that. The next thing I did was I knew I wanted a hard drawing surface or writing surface on this side of the planner. I knew that, and I like this size because it is, mm, I want to say like, seven ish seven and a half by like 10 it's a good size to draw or sketch on um but i knew i wanted a hard surface there so i took two pieces of this kind of thickish chipboard that i had in my stash of stuff already i already had it glued them together and then i took another scrap of shannon's vinyl and glued it to the top of them i cut it all to fit I wrapped the edges with some black duct tape and it fits snugly right in there. I have been pulling up the pen loop. I don't know why, but <laughs> no, 
don't know why. I kind of just like that it's there. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point I dangle a charm on there, but anyway. So now I have this nice hard writing surface. I love that. I have two journals I'm going to stick in here. This one is a moleskin that I actually picked up at the thrift store for, what does it say, $4.69, but I think these tags were half off that day. So like two bucks. Never used moleskin. I should really take the price tag off of it. It's a moleskin notebook, but that's good for sketching in. It's a, um, what do you call it, old old planner, but that's, again, okay for sketching in. I'm not planning on using, and it is 2017. I'm not planning on using it for a planner at all. I'm going to sketch in it. Uh, this is the one I one of my homemade ones, which I'm going to continue to use these also, and um, this fits in here nicely. So those can sit right here. In these pockets, which were for credit cards or business cards, I can put um, gift cards with washi tape on them. I can also just put a blank gift card in here for gluing down things. So I do plan on putting a glue stick in here. This is the only size glue stick I have. It's really big, but that's, for right now, that's okay. I'm using what I have. I do know that you who goes in a smaller size, but for right now, this works. And it can sit right here. Um, cause I may want to, if we're out somewhere, maybe we, I get tickets or a little piece of ephemera. I want to glue it in and do a sketch around it writing. That's what I want the stick for. And that's probably what this journal will be for. Um, there's a space to put something here in the future if I want. There's also a zipper pocket here. I can put things in if I want. I had this large zipper bag that I can fit everything in that was in the other case. So I'll show you what is in here. And this, uh, it turns out this is a really great selection of stuff for my kit for what I want. So, and we'll repack it as we go. So I have a uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in black, and this is a fine, a my um, favorite, sketching pen, which is a Bic Crystal. I have the regular Bic Crystal pen, which is this one. And then I have a um, thick Bic, Bic Crystal. This is a Bic Crystal um, 1.6 millimeter pen. I have my, another favorite of mine, the Bible Gel High Gliders, crayons, gel crayons. Three mini colored pencils, purple, pink, and green a white gel pen, a Pilot Varsity fountain pen, disposable fountain pen. Oh, here's another uh, colored pencil in blue. And these are just kids crazy art colored mini pencils. Nothing special, just none of these, none of these things are expensive. Um, a um, Stabilo water soluble pencil, a drawing pencil, and this is a 6H, so it's kind of a hard, it's a hard pencil, but that's okay. It's nice to sketch with. And a couple of water brushes. I also have some samples of the Jane Davenport watercolors that my friend Lisa Swank sent me. So these are going to be in here if I want to color one of my sketches. I have the mini um, watercolor kit that I put together for the other setup that again, or if I want to just add a little bit of color to the sketches, I can use these with the water brushes. Pencil sharpener, you always need one of those. And then a mini mister and some extra water. If I am out and I need to refill either one of my water brushes or what the paints, I've got water with me. I put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't leak everywhere just in case. And a clip is always handy to keep your journal open, to hold things open. This whole thing, when I am out and about sketching, maybe I have this on my lap, and I am sketching on this side. This bag has an elastic on it. So 
so I can put it there to access what I need to without things blowing away, falling off, anything like that. I could probably put the glue in there, but I like the idea of it just living right there in the groove that's already in the planner. And when I am not actually drawing with it, this pouch fits in this pocket back here. The whole thing zips up. The only thing is I wish it had two zipper pulls, but it doesn't. But there you go. So my new daily drawing kit. I love it. Thank you, Shannon Green, for the scraps of billboard vinyl. I love it. If you want to buy some of your scraps of bill, some scraps of billboard vinyl, or maybe one of her custom keepers, she makes a traveler style notebook out of uh, the billboard vinyl and a bunch of other products. So go out and check out her Etsy shop. I can't recommend it enough. She, and she's a really sweet person to top it all off. That's it for today. Check out the video description for the links I spoke of. Keep your eyes out at your local thrift stores for one of these old um, planners that you can maybe turn into something that you can use at home or away from home or both. And support my channel if you can uh, by donating to the tip jar, shopping in my Etsy shop, um, looking at my Amazon wish list, something like that. We, I, me and many other artists here on YouTube sure would appreci appreciate it. Um, don't forget the most important thing though, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.